And here is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday. It's the 30th of December, 2020. It's the wedding day of Percy Shelley and Mary Wollstonecraft Godwin, married on this day in 1816. They were traveling through Europe, came back to England. Mary was pregnant. They got married. She gave birth to a daughter who was premature, died after two weeks. A year later, January 1816, they had a healthy child named William. And that summer, they visited Lord Byron at Lake Geneva, Switzerland. And it was during that stay in Switzerland that Mary Shelley wrote her most famous novel, Frankenstein, came out in 1818. It's the birthday of Rudyard Kipling, born Bombay, India, 1865. He eventually settled in Vermont, and it was there in Vermont in a rented cottage surrounded by snow that Kipling began to reimagine the India where he had grown up. And he wrote the book for which he's best known today, The Jungle Book, came out in 1894. It was on this day in 1903, the Iroquois Theater Fire took place in Chicago during a matinee performance. It was the worst single structure fire in American history. The stage caught fire. The asbestos safety curtain did not work, and 500 people died that afternoon in Chicago. It was on this day in 1924 the astronomer Edwin Hubble announced the discovery of other galaxies beyond the Milky Way. Before that, people thought that the Milky Way was the only galaxy in the universe and that there wasn't much outside it besides these clouds, clouds of gas or dust known as the Magellanic clouds. Edwin Hubble was from Missouri. He was an athlete, played basketball, University of Chicago, got his PhD in astronomy, took a job at the Mount Wilson Observatory in California, which had just acquired a 100-inch telescope, which was the most powerful telescope in the world at that time. And Hubble was able to see that there were actually stars out there in what had been thought to be clouds of gas or dust. He identified the Andromeda galaxy and went on to discover 23 more separate galaxies. And within a few years, astronomers came to agree that our galaxy is just one of millions in the universe. It was an enormous step forward, but Edwin Hubble never received the Nobel Prize because they were not giving it out for astronomy at the time. But he did get a telescope named after him, NASA's Orbiting Space Telescope, which launched in 1990. Here's a poem for today by Donald Hall entitled The Things. When I walk in my house, I see pictures bought long ago, framed and hanging, de Kooning, Arp, Lorenzen, Henry Moore, that I've cherished and stared at for years. Yet my eyes keep returning to the masters of the trivial, a white stone perfectly round, tiny lead models of baseball players, a cowbell, a broken great-grandmother's rocker, a dead dog's toy, valueless, unforgettable detritus that my children will throw away as I did my mother's souvenirs of trips with my dead father, Kodaks of kittens and bundles of cards from her mother, Kate. The Things, a poem by Donald Hall from The Back Chamber, published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 